Hello, it is Mr. Keith. Welcome to Storytime Anytime. It is so good to see you again. I want to remind you that all of our story times are based on the concept of every child ready to read. We want to encourage you to talk, sing, read, write, and play with your child every day. Pretty much that means do the things that we do at Storytime. Read lots of books, practice doing your letters, sing lots of songs, and play. Um, so, speaking of story time, we should go ahead and get started. Um, to begin, I want to uh, start by doing the game where we do our hands like this. Can you do your hands like that? That is called clapping. Very good. Can you clap your hands way up high? Can you clap up high? Excellent. Um, how about can you clap down low? I'm clapping down low. Uh, can you clap your hands real fast? That is fast. And how about slow? really slow. It was barely a clap. Okay, I think now we're ready to do the song. We're going to clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. Yay! Keep on clapping a little bit more. Um, another thing I like to do when I see my friends, sometimes I clap my hands, sometimes I do my hand like that. That is waving. Can you wave your hand? Hey friends. Can you go ahead and wave your hand way up high? Hi. Uh, how about down low? Low. Um, how about real, real, real fast? Oh, fast, 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 fast. Um, what about slow? So slow. Now we're going to do the song again, except we're going to wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. Yay! I'm so happy y'all are here. I'm glad to do some stories. Um, first, before we get story time started, I want to show you the letter train. Here's the letter train. I love the rainbow colors of the letter train. We have red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple. Uh, there's a problem though. We don't have our letter yet. Um, I think I see the letter over here on the letter tree. Let's see. I'm going to pull it down a little bit so we can see it. I'm going to sing my letter train song and then we'll figure out what that letter is over there. Can you get your arms and move them like this? We're going to get the wheels of the train rolling. And the song goes, rolling, 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 the letter train is rolling. Rolling, 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 letter train. Now the bell is ringing. Ding, 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 ding. Now the whistle's blowing. Choo, choo. Hey, look, S is the letter that we need to be knowing. I'm gonna put letter S over on the letter train now. The wheels on the train go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the train go round and round all day long. The bell on the train goes ding, 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 ding. The bell on the train goes ding, ding, ding all day long. The whistle on the train goes choo, 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 choo. The whistle on the train goes choo, choo, choo all day long. Awesome, thank you for singing with me. Um, let's go over and look at our letter of the day. There is the letter of the day, letter S. S is kind of a snaky letter. I'm gonna draw a letter S with my finger real quick. I'm gonna start up high and I'm gonna go around and around and I stop. Let's try that one more time. I'm gonna start up high and I go around and around and I stop. That's the shape of letter S. I want to make the sound of letter S. Letter S makes the sound like this. Can you make that sound with your mouth? Good job. Wait, I think I hear an animal that makes that sound. Oh, look, on the top of my letter tree, here is Silly Snake. Come on over, Silly Snake. Oh, silly snake's wrapping around my arm. Here you go, silly snake. Can you pretend like your arm is a snake? And can you make your snake arm slither back and forth and make that S sound? Now, silly snake, I call silly snake, because sometimes silly snake likes to sniff me. Uh-oh, just don't bite me, silly snake. Ow, wait, whoa, silly snake, I told you not to bite me. You promise you're not gonna bite me? 
Okay, okay. Um, you want to sniff my knee? Ow! Wait, wait, silly snake, do not bite me. If you do it again, you have to go away, silly snake. Um, you want to sniff my nose? No, oh, wait, silly snake. Oh, oh. Uh, silly snake, you were being way too silly. It's time for you to go away. Okay. Oh, well, silly snake. Silly snake just reminded me of a book that I really like. It's called Snakes on a Train, written by Catherine Dennis. Let's look at this book real quick and see what happens. All these silly snakes on a train. The conductor takes the tickets, there they are, as the snakes all slither on. The tracks are checked. Check, 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 check. The whistle blows. Choo, choo. It's time to move along. Sss goes the sound of the train. The train leaves the station and the gears begin to grind. There go the snakes. The switcher pulls the handle and the cars slide down the line. Hiss goes the sound of the train. Kind of sounds like a snake. The brake snake stops the train. Stop! There's trouble in the back. Oh no, I think a pig fell in the tracks. The flagger waves the signal flag. The train stays on the track. Whew. Hiss goes the sound of the train. The train's in a tunnel. It's dark as night inside. Hiss goes the sound of the train. I see one, two, three, four different snakes. The train races down the hill and the snakes pretend to fly. A view from up high as the fish swim by. Hiss goes the sound of the train. Day's coming to an end. It's time for the snakes to find their dens. As the snakes slither off to sleep, the train rests for the night. A night train. Snakes wrap themselves into little balls and they tuck their tails in tight. I think that one's still awake. goes the sound of the train. Oh, and look, the stars are making a letter S. So many S's in that book, Snakes on a Train. There's also a good one called Snakes in Space. Now we don't have anything on the letter train yet. I better look over on the letter tree and see if we can find something to put on the train. Oh, here. Here's an animal whose name starts with a S. This is a seal. Can you say seal? Do you hear the S sound? Seal. I'm gonna put the seal on the train right here. I love seals because they sometimes clap their flippers. Can you clap your hands and pretend like they're seal flippers? Seals also make a fun sound like this. Art, art, art. Art, art. Good job. It is fun to pretend like you're different animals. Um, let's see what's also on the letter train. Ooh, oh, I've seen one of these when I was driving one day. It's a stop sign. Can you say stop sign? Oh, I hear those S's in stop sign. When you're moving around in a car and you see a stop sign, you're supposed to stop. Oh, we could play a game where we pretend like we're seals and then we have to stop. Let's try, let's try. I'm gonna tell you to do something. You try to do what I do, and then wait until I tell you to stop, and we'll stop together, okay? I'm gonna clap my hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, and stop. Were you listening? Good job. I clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, and stop. Okay, I'm gonna change it. We're gonna do something different this time. Wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands, and stop. 
Uh, wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands, and stop. Okay, we're going to do a different one. Uh, shake your hand, shake your hand, shake your hands, and stop. Shake your hand, shake your hand, shake your hands and stop. You're doing so good. Let's roll them. Uh, roll your hands, roll your hands, roll your hands and stop. Uh, roll your hands, roll your hands, roll your hands and stop. Clap for yourself, you did so good. I love to play that game, it is so much fun. Following instructions. Um, let me look around. Looking up on the board, I think I see some sheep. There's a sheep right there. It looks like a black sheep. I'm gonna put this black sheep over on the board. I know a song about a black sheep. You might have heard this nursery rhyme before. It goes like this. It goes, ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. But what if it's not a black sheep? What if it's a different color sheep? What would we sing if it was a that color sheep? Ba ba white sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. But wait, what if it wasn't a white sheep? What if it was a orange sheep? Ba ba orange sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. But what if it was a purple sheep? <laughs> ba ba purple sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. But what if it was a green sheep? Ba ba green sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Okay, I'm gonna put the, all the different sheep back on there now. I'm gonna have the green one on the top, and then a purple one, and then an orange sheep, and then a black sheep, and then we'll have that white one right there. That's a whole lot of sheep riding on that train. I thought I heard a sound. I think it might be one of my favorite Storytime friends. <gasps> oh my word, he, yay, he came today. I'm so glad to see you. It's my favorite monkey, Mr. Bobo the monkey. Bobo is waving hello to you. Can you wave hello to Bobo? Awesome, he's so happy to see you. Um, Bobo, you love to play, don't you? Oh yeah, I know that. Um, do you wanna play your favorite game with the kids? Okay, so Bobo's favorite game is called Monkey See, Monkey Do. And what you need to do is just watch Bobo and try to do what Bobo does. Bobo, what do you want the kids to do? Give them something easy. Oh look, he's clapping his hands. Can you clap your hands? Yeah, good job, you're doing it, way to go. Um, okay, Bobo, try a different one. What's another thing they could do? Oh, he's hiding his eyes. Can you hide your eyes? Peekaboo, he's looking. Oh, oh, he hit him again. Peekaboo, he's looking again, he's looking. Oh, he hit him one more time. Peekaboo, okay, Bobo, do a different thing. Do something else now. Um, Bobo, what are you gonna do? Oh, he's touching his toes. Can you touch your toes? They're probably down on your feet. Awesome, good job, Bobo. Now, what do you do now? Oh, look, now he's stretching. He's got his arms way up in the sky. That's kind of hard for him. He's doing it though. Way to go, Bobo. Your monkey yoga is great. Okay, Bobo, what next, what next? Always oh, giving himself a hug. Can you put your arms around yourself? That feels good to do. That's nice. Bobo, maybe could you give me a hug? Oh, he's giving me a hug. Thank you so much, Bobo. You're so sweet. Do you have an adult that you could give a hug to? Or maybe if you don't have an adult around, you can give him one of your toys. No. Oh. No. Oh. Bobo, you're looking like you're getting sleepy. Is it almost monkey nap time, Bobo? Okay, it's almost monkey nap time, y'all. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to sing Bobo's favorite good night song. It's called Rockabye Bobo. Uh, Bobo, if we sing, do you promise you'll try to fall asleep? So I'm gonna hold Bobo in my arms. If you wanna get a pretend monkey in your arms, and we're gonna rock our monkeys together, sing the song, and we'll see if they fall asleep. Are you ready, Bobo? Okay. It goes, Rock-a-bye, Bobo, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come Bobo, 
cradle and all. <gasps> hey, y'all. He fell asleep. Thank you for helping me. I'm going to let him sleep back over here. There we go. Wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, there's something back here, y'all. <gasps> Ooh. Look at this. <laughs> I'm glad this is just a puppet. This is a huge spider. I wanted to show you an itsy bitsy spider. This is definitely not the itsy bitsy spider. This is like a hugely woogely spider. Um, maybe, oh, I have this other spider. Look, if this one is huge, this one is smaller. I think this is the itsy bitsy spider. So I'm gonna do the itsy bitsy spider song, but just so hugely woogely doesn't feel left out, we'll do a song for hugely woogely too. Can you put your fingers together like they're a little spider? And we're going to do the itsy bitsy spider song. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. So it's pretty easy for an itsy bitsy spider to crawl up a water spout. But I learned in this book right here, the hugely woogely spider, that it is really hard for a big, big spider to go up a water spout. So when we do the hugely woogely spider, I'm gonna put my arms way far apart, like I'm climbing and having to grab on really, really hard to get up that water spout. So instead of doing a little one, do really big arms. You ready? Okay. The hugely woogely spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the hugely woogely spider went up the spout again. Awesome, thank you so much for singing with me, y'all. I'm gonna put this pretend spider back over here. Bobo's perfectly safe. Um, let's look around on the board. I think we need some more stuff on the train. Um, oh, yum, I ate some of these the other day. I went picking these. That is a yummy kind of fruit, a strawberry. Let's put a strawberry on the train. Can you say strawberry? I hear that S sound at the beginning, strawberry. We're gonna do a little game now where we pretend we're at the strawberry patch picking strawberries. So I'm gonna get down low and I'm gonna pick one there. I'm gonna pick one there. I'm gonna wash them, wash them, wash them. And I'm gonna put one in my mouth. When I put it in my mouth, it makes a sound like this. It goes pop. That was pretty loud. Um, okay, let's, let's try again there. And then we're actually gonna do a song. It goes like this. All around the strawberry patch, we like to pick the berries. We take them home and we wash them off. Pop go the berries. Let's do that one more time. And at the end, when we do the pop, I want you to get down low and jump up with me as high as you can. Let's try it. All around the strawberry patch, we like to pick the berries. We take them home and we wash them off. Pop go the berries. That's so much fun. I want to do it just one more time. Just one more time. Okay, you ready? Okay. All around the strawberry patch, we like to pick the berries. We take them home and we wash them off. Pop go the berries. Strawberries, they're so yummy. I wish I had a bunch of strawberries right now. Uh, let me look over at the letter tree. Oh, I see a thing that you see up in the sky at night sometimes. Looks like a star. Oh, there's three stars. One, two, three. There's a small star, a medium star, and a large star. I'm gonna put the large one right here. I'm gonna put the medium one here and the small one there. There's a song called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I wanna make sure we're singing it to the right star. Um, let me see. That is the large star, that's not the little star. That is the medium star. That's not the small star. Oh, look, this is the little star. There's a little star. So I'm gonna hold little star and put it way up here. And then I'm gonna get my hand and pretend like my hand is a little star. Can you make your star twinkle? 
your hand. I'm going to put my hand up high. And when we sing the song, we're going to make our stars twinkle. But then when we get to the part where we make a diamond in the sky, like a diamond in the sky, I want you to put your hands together like a diamond. All right, I think we can do this. So you have your twinkling star ready. Here it goes way up high. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. If I wanted to go see some stars, it would be so fun to go up into outer space. I would like to be an astronaut. I'm going to read you a book right now. It's called I Want to Be an Astronaut by Byron Barton. He writes really good books for toddlers. I want to be an astronaut, a member of the crew. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six crew members. And fly on the shuttle into outer space. Ooh, I see the Earth. I want to be up there on a space mission. Ooh, look at that doing cool things in there and have ready to eat meals and sleep in zero gravity. I want to put on a space suit and walk around in space. Whoa, cool. And help fix a satellite and build a factory in orbit. I want to be up there a while. Well, I think North Carolina is right about there. And then come back to Earth. I just want to be an astronaut and visit outer space. But even if you can't be an astronaut and visit outer space, you can get some cool space books at the library and pretend you're an astronaut. Now, on my letter tree over here, I think I see an astronaut in his space suit. Let me get that and I want to show you. Let's see. I'm going to pick it up. Here we go. Oh no! His clothes fell off. <laughs> We're going to have to help him put his space suit back on. He's not going to be safe in space without his suit. Let me grab his clothes real quick. Well, the poor little space boy, he lost his clothes and he's not very safe in space. So we better help dress him, okay? If I was going up into space and needed my space suit, the first thing I would do was put on my suit and I would zip my suit up like this. Zoop. Can you pretend to do that? Zoop. Um, then I would put on my space boots. And there's one boot on that foot and then another butt, boot on that foot. Let me see, I'm gonna put my boots in like this. One boot, two boots. Um, I would also wanna wear some gloves to protect my hands in space. So there's a glove on that hand, and then a glove on that hand. And when I put my gloves on, it would go like this. There's one glove, and then another glove. And there's one thing left, he needs to protect his head. So we're gonna put his helmet on his head. Oh, yay! Okay, good, he looks way safer. When we put our helmet on, we're gonna put it down on our head like this and screw it on. We're gonna do a song right now called If You're Going to the Moon, Wear Your Boots. And we're gonna pretend like we put on all these different things. If you're going to the moon, wear your suit. Zoop. If you're going to the moon, wear your suit. Zoop. If you're going to the moon and you're going to leave real soon, if you're going to the moon, wear your suit. Zoop. If you're going to the moon, wear your boots. There's one boot, two boots. If you're going to the moon, wear your boots. If you're going to the moon and you're going to leave real soon, if you're going to the moon, wear your boots. There's one boot, two boots. Okay, uh, if you're going to the moon, wear your gloves. If you're going to the moon, wear your gloves. 
If you're going to the moon and you're gonna leave real soon. If you're going to the moon, wear your gloves. If you're going to the moon, wear your helmet. If you're going to the moon, wear your helmet. If you're going to the moon and you're gonna leave real soon. If you're going to the moon, wear your helmet. I think the space boy is ready to go all the way to the moon. So that means we should sing the zoom, zoom, zoom song. I'm gonna take him off and I'm gonna put the spaceship up on the board. And we are gonna pretend like we are gonna get inside of a spaceship and we are gonna go from the earth to the moon. First, we're gonna clap our hands up and down. At the end, we're gonna jump up like we're rocket ships taking off. Let's do it. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll be there very soon. If you wanna take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. All right, so rockets, put on your nose cones and we're gonna get down on the launch pad. Let's do our countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's jump up. Blast off! I'm going all the way to the moon. It's so fun zooming. Um, that was so much fun. Let's, let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll be there very soon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard the rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. All right. Let's put on our nose cones and we'll get down on the launch pad. And we go five, four, three, two, one. Blast off all the way to the moon. Y'all, I had so much fun doing story time with you today. Let's look at the letter train real quick. See some of our letter S things. We had the letter S and we had a seal and a stop sign and a stack of sheep and a strawberry and some stars. So many S's. We clap and say goodbye. We clap and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and say goodbye. Wave and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and say goodbye. Y'all, I hope you have a great day. I hope you read lots of books and go outside and play. Bye.